so I know it's been a while since I made one of these videos, but I have been gone for at least about two, three weeks now. Damn. Uh, Y'all be asking me whenever I be gone most of the time. I got a life, all right? It's called life because I got stuff to do. I got places to be, and yet video game trailers and reveals just keep happening left and right. Fatal Fury City of the Wolves officially dropped a brand new trailer or a couple brand new trailers. Uh, I was aware that Kevin Ryan got announced. I was aware that Billy Kane, uh, he got an extreme new makeover. Rock Howard and Terry not only got a trailer too, so I'm mainly going to be reacting to um, these two trailers specifically because y'all know me. I am a Terry Bogard fanatic at its finest, and uh, he's one of my favorite SNK characters, and basically one of my favorite fighting game characters ever made. So if I were to rank my top three, it would be Full Gore from Killer Instinct, and then it would be Ken Masters, and then number one would be Terry, because he's Mr. SNK. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. Three, two, one, go. I'm actually kind of looking forward to see what Rock has during this trailer. Oh, it's red. It's not Terry, though. Mmm. Let's go, Rock. Griffin Putao? Okay. He's got his command grab. Ooh. Rising tackle. He's got crack shoot? I didn't even know. And he's got his own Buster Wolf. He's more like his father and more like Terry though, which is the crazy part. Oh, Raging Storm, let's go. Okay. Power Geyser, yeah, that's sick. Nice. I can't wait for this game, dude. It's gonna be so sick. Yes, it is. City of the Hungry Wolves, mainly. I'm really... Alright. Not gonna lie, I'm glad this is gonna be coming on PS4, because I still own a PS4, thankfully. And it's even gonna be on the Epic Games Store, so that's gonna be cool. So now that Rock Howard has been officially revealed for City of the Wolves, or has been lurking through uh, Southtown, more specifically. I personally believe that I am going to try to give him a try, uh, once the new game officially drops. I definitely have yet to try him in KOF 15. He was one of those characters that I wasn't really too familiar with, but yet he has all the signature moves that I normally like between Terry and Geese. Not to mention, he has Crack Shoot and Power Geyser now, which is even crazier. Rising Tackle, he's always had. Um, I can't tell if this is like his own version of a power dunk, but who knows, bro. He is starting to be more like Terry rather than Geese now. And look at that. The crack shoots right there. Literally combos into one of the moves from Garo. That he always had that move too as well with the sliding, like the jumping kick. The art style really makes the fighting look so much cooler though in my opinion because I feel like KOF 15 or KOF 16 if that ever happens, I guarantee you would look like this in the near future. Raging Storm is still basically a geese move because he is still the adopted goose. Yeah, the Power Geyser move was honestly something that's a that's a that's a upgrade right there honestly. Like I can't even believe like next thing you probably know in the next few games he's gonna be pulling off buster wolf and triple geyser and shit like it's gonna be it's gonna be insane the terry bogard or terold moylan uh three two one go so now we're gonna see my boy what he's been up to since after the first game of garo oh it's blue okay Oh, do we got the train stage again? That's sick. All right, this is already an instant day one buy for me. Giving me fighting EX Slayer vibes. Hey, come on. Yeah, Michael Schneider. Let's go. Ooh, this stage is looking crisp. He looks like a beefy boy. Nice. He's got power charge into power dunk. You could do air crack shoot? Buster Wolf? Power 
He's got triple geyser. No way. Oh, he's got a new super. Is that Stardunk Volcano, but with a tornado? I don't know what that is even supposed to mean, though, but oh my goodness. Yeah, we definitely gotta go analyze this man piece by piece, bro. Pause. I'm not even meaning that way. So now, oh my god, my hair is so all over the place, though, because of this beanie. But, uh, Terry has now been officially revealed, and I'm so glad that they brought back this stage from, like... This was, like, from the very first Fatal Fury game, if I remember correctly, though, but... Holy hell, dude, it looks so goddamn good. It's just, like, all the stages are gonna look so sick, and the characters, and the art style, like, mmm! It's everything an SNK fan wants, and it's so good. We gotta see, because he's... That looks like mainly a command normal. Norm... Is that... Nope. That looks like a command normal into Burning Knuckle. So it just seems like he's still got the same old moves, but some revamped ones, too. So you can now cancel it into crack shoot and just alongside with rising tackle dude this the combos in this game are going to be absolutely insane especially with terry and rock howard like they're they're, they're going to be like the basic fundamentals of characters you'll basically know once you get to play that looks like a new move is that power charge with burning knuckle no that's power charge okay i was about to say and then that's power dunk each like move that Terry does in this move in this game trailer or just in this trailer alone he already looks like I hope we get his classic look too in the game as like a free DLC skin so we could rock the old school look but it would look absolutely beautiful especially with like the train stage involved it gives me like huge Fatal Fury 1 vibes mainly yeah this new super though he's doing like kind of like this kind of pose he hits you with like a tornado kick is it like the one move that he did from like the movie like the anime movie back in like the 90s but except it's more revamped and it has stardunk volcano and it sends like a flaming tornado bro terry's new super move is actually kind of sick though i think it's better than buster ignition buster ignition whatever you call that i forget but overall Rock and Terry look absolutely sick. I can't wait for them to see what combos they'll be cooking up because those supers are going to look absolutely nutty once you pull them off. I think that's about it for this video. How excited are y'all for Fatal Fury City of the Wolves? Let me know down below. And if y'all want to see more fighting game content, uh, let me know. And uh, yeah, that's about it. See ya.